Right, so as you can tell in the last video, I was going to persist with trying to figure out what was wrong with that uh, website from the CSS template site. And um, I admit defeat, I've given up. And so now what I'm going to do is show you from scratch how to actually restart a new project. So I've got to go to Dreamweaver first and I've got to set up my Dreamweaver how I want it. So I'm going to go Adobe Dreamweaver and I'm going to start from scratch. So this would be a good advantage if you say move computers, if you don't like your mate anymore and you move away from him, this is what you would do. Okay, so your original ones over here and if you um, move computers you don't have this area um, set up again so we go to site choose new site and what are we going to call this one we're going to call this example uh, number two because I'm a loser and what we do is then we choose where we've done it so this one's called galleries so I'm just going to use that uh, you can call it whatever you want the advanced settings are going to where is your images area and I'm going to open that up and choose select and it's got a bit of a demo and this one's a little bit different and I'm going to show you why because it's actually got a bit of a um, sort of a gallery that actually moves along and stuff like that so here it is now the, the site's been done and if I open up index you'll see that whoa we've got this pretty funky do that thing so if I open up it in Chrome you will see that this is what it looks like in Chrome. So it's got this like gallery sort of thing, and the first image is called one. And I, so I had a look around first of all to sort of work out, okay, what what was gallery or image number one, and what do I have to do with it? So it goes through image number one, and then it goes. If I click on that, then it goes to the gallery of image number one. So I can effectively make a really nice. Um, you know gallery for the images that I have done so I'm going to do that and this one also uh, is a scrolling thing where it actually scrolls through once it's properly loaded so I'm going to show you how to do all that uh, in the next few videos because um, I think this one's going to be pretty cool so if, while the video stopped what I'm going to do is just find some really nice images and put them into my images folder so that I can play around with them because my images folder has all these like the demo so then you can see it's got all these it's got the home page one so that's image number one i'm gonna have to change that image number two three four and so it's going to look at all those things to make sure that um my images are going to be those ones and how do i know what they are well i can do this i can go to the h drive to my software design over to the internet there's all our tutorial videos if i go to web assessment i go to gallerized images demo and to home page, I can see that this is image number one. So if I double click on that, it comes up with that. And I'm gonna change that to something, you know, obviously related to what I was doing, which I think I chose surfing, um, uh, desktop background, which would be a wallpaper. All right, and I can go to images. And here's a few examples of uh, types of images that I did and I think they were along the lines of this one so I'm going to do some black and white ones just to do you know just something there's the one that I was working on that's it there so I'm going to get all these images and I'm going to put them all into a gallery and work away with that but I'm not going to film that because that's going to take too long so I'm just going to basically stop my video now and then the next one will be okay I've got all the images